I think we all have heard about supervised machine learning and unsupervised machine learning. But have you ever heard about what is batch learning and online learning? If not, then in this video, I'm going to talk about these two types of machine learning. So why delay? It's coming up. All right, so first let us learn about what is batch learning. So in batch learning, you take all your data records and you start training your machine learning model. Now, since you're using all your attributes, this may take time and requires computing power. So it is often done offline. And that is why batch learning is often also called offline learning. In this type of learning, you train your model in the development part and then you deploy it into the production. And once it has gone into the production, it will be using only the data that you have provided in the development part. You cannot go and start giving it the new data directly so that it can start learning on the fly. All the data that you have provided in the training time, it will be only using that. Now, if in any case, if you want to give your machine learning model some new data, you need to start it from the very scratch. What you need to do, you need to bring down your machine learning model, give it some new data with the old data, train it and then deploy it into the production part. In most of the cases, this is very simple and it might work. And you might want to run your machine learning model once in 24 hours or maybe once in a week. But in many cases, this may be very much frustrating because training machine learning model with the old data and the new data would this time not only require time and CPU, but also disk space and disk management, which may again cost you money. So in that case, we come up with the online learning. We'll get that to it. But just remember, in batch learning, we take all our data one at a time and train our machine learning model. It cannot learn on the fly if we start giving it to the new data. If you want to give the new data, we need to start it from the very scratch and bring down an existing machine learning model, train it again and deploy it. This is fine for the very small projects that you are currently working, but it gets tough in the real time where the data is coming from an IoT device or from a server or maybe from a smartphone. So in that case, we start using online learning. So here we will talk about what is online learning. In online learning, you take the data and divide it into small groups, which are also called mini batches. Now you take these batches and start training your model, which may be in the production already. So what you do, your machine learning model need not require a huge time and great computing to process those small chunks of data. And you can keep on passing that, that data with the certain period of tenure. Now, this may be also be useful if your training data is very big and may not be able to store at one particular machine. You can divide your data into different machines and by one by one, you can start giving the chunks of the data to your machine learning model and it can go on learning even if it is in the production stage. That is why if you have very much of big data, it is suggestible that you go for online learning. Whereas if you have only certain set of data that may not be changing and it is only static, then it is totally fine for the batch learning. I hope the difference between batch learning and online learning is clear with you now. Those are very two simple topics that may be asked if you are talking to any, any of the machine learning enthusiasts. Let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts about this video. And uh, that's all from my side. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Stephen Simon. See you in the next video.